Well, good Wednesday morning to you, Gate City. Hey, this morning I want to read a verse of scripture to you out of Ephesians chapter 6, verse 18. It says, And pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Uh, prayer. Prayer is one of the hallmarks of our relationship with God. Prayer is the really only avenue that you and I have to talk directly to God. He speaks to us in many ways, but prayer is how we talk to Him. And it says, and to pray in the Spirit. And that phrase, in the Spirit, means in accordance with the Spirit, with the Spirit guiding our prayers, with the thoughts of God in mind as we pray. And when we do that, our thoughts are focused on things that uh, would be honoring and glorifying to God, not necessarily our wants and desires all the time. But although uh, we shouldn't focus on wants and desires, God does want to hear those things that is important to us and, and is on our heart because he says, with all kinds of prayers and requests. So nothing is off limits talking to God, but remember always that God will answer within his will and within his prescribed uh, values that he has shown us through his word. He won't ever contradict himself when he answers our prayers. Uh, then it says, always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Now, who are all the Lord's people? Well, definitely we know that includes the uh, family of God, the people of faith who have uh, given their life to Jesus Christ, and we are encouraged over and over again to pray for one another. Uh, we need the prayers of others. But it says, for all the Lord's people, we might even extend that to everyone that God has created, because everyone needs prayer. And so I would encourage you today, if you know someone who is not a follower of Christ, pray for them today. Pray for God's blessings on their life. Pray for God to become real in their life, because the most important thing that could ever happen to them is to come to know Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. And for those of us who are already followers of Christ, if there is a brother and sister in Christ in need today, pray for them. Pray for God to intervene and care for whatever is going on in their life. Your prayers have power. And when you do so, pray in the Spirit so we're praying within God's will. God bless you. Have a great day. Pray today, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.